Well, I think it was a dose of humility probably for everyone that was purple and gold last year. We are probably taking it for granted that we were going to be there every year. And I think that speaks for our team, our fans, the administration, everyone. So certainly we, uh, you know, it was not a, a year we'd like to, to go over by the same token. I think the fact that we, we played so well in November, you know, we have a lot of momentum going into this season. But it was, it was a different year, there's no question. Well, I think Drew's going to have a banner year. I think he's going to have an All-American year. I think the guy's a great player. I mean, he, he can run, he can throw. Uh, you know, we had named him last year at halftime of the Richmond game, then he broke his foot, you know, four plays later. So certainly, you know, we have a lot of confidence in him. He's the unquestioned leader of our football team. And he's a big, strong guy. He needs to stay healthy. You know, last year, I don't think any time you're injured like that, you know, it kind of makes you a little nervous. We're... We're not going to run as much option as we've been running. We're going to throw the ball more because I think that's the we're going to try to take advantage of his abilities. But certainly, we're we're there's no question in our coaching staff or our our players' mind that, that Drew is the guy to uh, to lead us this year. Yeah, I think it's a double-edged sword. I think you know the the competition we've been in every Saturday. There's no, you know, you get good by playing good people, hey. But I think sometimes you know we can be a, you know, some of the teams can be a little beat up going into December. I think that can be a little bit of a negative. You have to watch it. I know we always do as we get close to the playoff games. That how many plays a kid's playing on Saturday. You know, they're at their physical peak at being 20 and 21 years old, but they can get beat up, and you have to watch it. The when you go through the rigors of one of our our November schedules, it can take its toll. Well, I, I, I like it because I, we've always felt like we're pretty good at it, at developing players. You know, we, we, the first thing we do, of course, recruiting, we feel like we identify. Uh, we make good decisions in the recruiting process to bring kids to camp. And then, of course, the second thing, I think developing players is right. And, you know, we feel, you've heard me say many times we have the best strength conditioning coach in college football, and Jim Durning, you know, he develops those guys. and. Uh, you know, many coaches tell me in pregame warm-up, we come out for warm-up, I said, well, coach, you got a pretty team. And we, we are, but it's by design. You know, we recruit good players, and we work very hard in the weight room and to, to develop as football players. So I, I enjoy that part of it probably as much as anything I do, to be honest with you.